What is good, Horror Horror? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is another Is It Worth the Hate? And as you can see by my right here, I have a special guest, Cassie the Horror Hound. She decided she wanted to be a part of the video today, so there she is. All right. So, in this episode of Is It Worth the Hate, we're going to be exploring something a little different. Um... It's a found footage exorcism movie, kind of. And, well, before we get into that, just know that your boy Horror Gamers, is it worth the hates have? Spoilers in them all day, every day. So, if you haven't seen this movie, pause this, go check it out, come back, let me know in the comment section what you think, whether you believe it's worth the hate, whether you, you know, you don't, whether you enjoyed it, whether you hated it, whether you agree with me, or whether you think it's full of shit. So... With all that being said, anything beyond this point of the video <clears throat> is on you. So, as you can also tell by the title of this video, this episode of Is It Worth the Hate, we're going to be exploring a movie that it kind of took me by surprise. It's called The Devil Inside. And it says it's inspired by true events. So... The Devil Inside got completely torn apart by critics. I think it got like a... I, I, I want to say, I think it maybe got like a zero on Rotten Tomatoes or something like really like just fucking low. Like it got ripped up. And a lot of people don't like it. So, your boy Hard Gamer thinks, is it worth the hate? No. I don't think this one's worth the hate. So basically what this movie is about, this movie is about this. It starts off, it's this 911 call. This woman goes crazy and she kills like four people. And then she calls the police and tells her that she did it. You know what I mean? And then we fast forward it to 20 years later where her daughter travels <clears throat> to see her. And she's in this room and she's just fucking weird. Like acting weird. Her mannerisms are just off. You know, the courts, you know, said that she was crazy. Okay. But this film crew and everything, they follow this girl um, to see her mom. And then throughout the movie, you realize that her mom's possessed by four demons. Very powerful demons. And they were the ones who, like, made her go crazy that night and kill everybody. And so, basically, this movie follows this girl <clears throat> trying to figure out answers on what she can do to help her mom maybe get her some relief maybe get these demons out of her so she can live a normal life and the events that uh, transpire in this movie they're good like this is a solid found footage horror movie like there's this one scene where the guy commits suicide and he's being forced to by some unnatural force and it was <sighs> Suicide is never a good thing, but the way it was depicted in this movie, it was crazy. It looked so real, like the special effects that they used to do this gunshot, it, it was so real, and you could see that he didn't want to do it, like he was scared that he couldn't stop it, you know what I mean, that something else was taking over his body, and boom, it was the one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Because it just looks so real. But like there's this, the scary parts in it are on point. You know that scene was just insane. The ending's twist is a little. It's okay. It's not the greatest. But for it to get the IMBD score. And the uh, Rotten Tomatoes score that it did. I absolutely 100% have to disagree. This is a good. It's not. It's not Shakespeare, okay? You're not going to go in here and you're not going to be blown away by this otherworldly movie that just opens up your uh, opens up your senses to life and blah 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 blah. You know, it's not groundbreaking. It's not gonna it's not gonna change your life, but it's not a bad movie. It was actually pretty well made. Um, the directing was really good. It seemed really real. Um, and the fact that it's supposedly inspired by true events is what makes it a little more scarier because it's that it's that level of truth that it sits in the back of your head that wow this this actually happened now of course it, it probably 
didn't happen in the way that it was depicted in the movie because you know when Hollywood gets a hold of something they gotta beef it up and you know what I'm saying make it otherworldly and cosmically and shit but the way this movie was made I thought it was a good movie I thought it was well made I, it, like I said it's not groundbreaking or nothing but it's not the worst movie in the world and it's not worth the very low scores that it got and the hate that it gets so with all that being said, final verdict 100% is The Devil Inside worth the hate. I'm sorry. Cassie the Horror Hound hears somebody upstairs, so she's about ready to run upstairs. But is it worth the hate that it gets? 100% absolutely not. I definitely recommend you go run and check this out. You could probably find it for like a buck somewhere at like a local... Dollar Tree or some shit and, you know, get it for like a dollar. So, definitely I recommend you check it out. Like I said, if anything, it's what your boy Horror Gamer likes to call. You got it. Popcorn flick. Turn your brain off. Watch it. Enjoy it for what it is. That's it. So, all right, Horror Horde. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it for you. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet... Hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way every time your boy Horror Gamer throws up one of these is it worth the hates that you're always in the know. And also while you're at it, run on over to the Horror Gamer Patreon page and see what kind of awesome perks you get being a patron. Because I have two tiers and let me tell you something. Every penny that is made from Patreon comes right back to the channel. That way I can make better content for you guys. So there's that. And also after you're done with that, Head on over to the Zine Network and see what we got going on over there. A bunch of us creators got together and created something for everybody. It's a little something for everybody. So, all right, Horror Horde. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, as always, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it. <laughs>